mention after. But first of all, over to you. Well, thanks, Daryl. Well, here I am at the Crown uh, Palladium with two giants of the music industry. Now, I normally get nervous with one of you when I have to interview one of you, but two of you together. Mm. So, welcome to Melbourne. Thank you very much. Now, I've got to ask, how did you two finally get together to, uh, to do concerts and, like, play together? I mean, in piano. And be different. Um, I don't really remember. Is somebody's agent called somebody's other agent? Yes, and, well, I mean, Billy and I have known each other for a long time. And um, our respective uh, uh, sound guy and lighting guys Dude. know each other. So, it was, I mean, and I think it was, the suggestion came from their camp, really. Yeah. And I said, yeah, I'd love to. And that was about two years ago. And we did Canada and North uh, and America. Yeah. And we had a blast. And we did it in two sections. And, you know, how often do you see two grand pianos stacked up against each other? And nobody plays the piano much anymore. Right now, listen. With um, with with, the, with 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 Canada, and then also with that uh, American tour that you did, um, people said it's oh, it's just going to be a one-off. I mean, it's not now a one-off, is it? You're going to tour <coughs> Australia later and early next year as well with this, so the public can see, it. aren't you? I hope so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but what we want to do next year is go out on, on a world tour. Well, we we feel that we've. Uh, I'm doing all the talking here <laughs> because Billy's gobsmacked. <laughs> but if I say it, then he can't go back on it. Yeah. Um, we kind of feel that it'd be nice for the world to see it, and you know, I think we can only do it once, yeah. right? We'd like to be able to do it. Let's put it that way. We, we're planning on, on touring together. Uh, nothing's been set in stone. You know, right. yeah, it's, not, it's not written in stone yet, but um, we're planning on working together a lot next right. year. Yeah. Okay, now watching you rehearse today, I mean, like just uh, the choice of songs each of you are going to do to uh, represent yourselves, and then the choice of songs of getting together and performing as a duo. I mean, how did that, did you sit down and mull well, over the piano or what it was? It was, a lot of it was trial and error. We, uh, we there are things that we both liked of each other's and things that felt good on stage. You can plan yeah. all you want, you put it on paper, so you sit down and play, then you go, yeah, that's going to work, no, that's not going to work. Right. And uh, we may change between, you know, what we do between the two shows here. You see how it goes? Yeah. It's, a, it's a sort of different <coughs> audience for us. Yeah. And it's, you know, it's like, hurry up and finish, we want to go and gamble kind of audience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, the obvious, there, are, there are two obvious questions, right? Are you ever going to record together? Mm. And are we ever going to sleep together? No to the latter. Um, the first, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> no, and the second question is, yes, yes. would you ever uh, co-write together? Why not? Oh, yeah. I, you yeah. Know, I'm, I'm, at this stage in my career, I'm open to anything. I mean, the whole point of us working together is not for anything to be closed. I mean, to have all our options open. Um, but, you know, both of us have got to, you know, like what we do, otherwise there's no mm. point in doing it. But. Now, I mean, within, in, in tonight's performance, you do your song, right? Yeah. Which was the very first basic song for you yeah. as a hit. And Piano Man, you do as well, right? Yeah. Now, your song, 1970, Piano Man, 1976. 73. 73, was it? 76, yeah, 73, where I'm from. Yeah. <laughs> so when you, when, you were playing, when you were playing in the bar, did you ever do, say, something like your song? Absolutely. I did yeah. Elton John music when Elton was already a, a big recording star. Sure. Mm -hmm. for piano players. Thank you. You know, there's a guy I can play. You know? Now, over the years, I've done many interviews with both of you, and you've had a bit of a, a go at each other, you know? Have we? Have yes. we? Have we? When? I think oh, I was cooked know. up. I think I was cooked no. up in the press more. No, no. I've never. I've always been great. No, no, no. no. You've been no. very gracious with each other. But you also had a go. You know, piano man, piano man. I think that was. I think that was. A, the, it wasn't us. I don't think it's ever us. Yeah. I think it was the press. You know, it was, it was unfortunate for Billy because <coughs> you know, he was the first American piano player to come out. He sorry, he always got compared to me. Mm. In fact, he couldn't be farther away from the stuff that I write, and he writes a two totally different thing. Yeah. And he, you know, he's always been very much his own um, writer and singer. And I've always appreciated that, and I've always thought it was been very unfair. Mm. Uh, but he had to go through that at first. And uh, no, I don't think we've ever had any anim animosity toward each other or jealousy. No, I, I remember think... when we first met him. We, would, we liked each other instantly, respected each other yeah. instantly. I think what happened before that was that the, the guitar was the preeminent instrument for a long time in rock and roll. But nobody was comparing guitar players to each other. You had you know, piano players, exactly. oh, this one's trying to copy that one, which really wasn't true at all. Okay, very quickly, you're, um, have you completed the album yet? You were working on the album. I'm halfway through it. I'm going back. I go back from Monday, arrive on Tuesday, go back to the studio Wednesday. Yeah, so I'm halfway through it. And Billy? <laughs> <laughs> I've just finished re recording, actually, a Bob Dylan song, which will be on an album of uh, greatest hits. Right. Essentially, used cars, you know, yeah. the greatest hits album. Well, it's an, 
I can feel it. Thanks for coming to Melbourne. First show, right? You've got to come back and play the big concert because I believe with the band, etc., etc., it's, et it's awesome. Well, it's, it's a four and a half hour show, and it's, mm. it's kind of like people come and, and they have like parties outside the parking lot. And it's, yeah. it's one of those kind of. It, it's a real enjoyer. It's the most enjoyable tour I've ever done. Right. With him, it was great fun. It's fun. It's a yeah. lot of fun. Yeah. Now listen, if I can just lead you around here. Yes. Just around here. Mm -hmm. If you can follow. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh I saved. And Elton, if you can just sit at the piano and the old number no. of like birthday. Oh look. Silly <laughs> 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 thing. It's my. <laughs> it's your retainer. Oh, it's, 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 it's my zipper yeah. frame. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wouldn't be the first time I had an organ in my mouth, would it? Thank you. Maybe for some happy birthday or birthday. Oh, I see, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, let's do another key. Fine, G. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Joe William. Happy birthday to you. Public humiliation number one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was great. That was a very good interview. That's our own Molly there catching up with two giants in the music world. Wasn't that nice? Very Excellent. I think they were really relaxed because also it was Molly.